Star Wars Old Republic plays much better than I was expecting on Steam Deck and this is a slightly longer review than usual because I've spent so much time with this game on the deck and also the fact that there are so many aspects of this game that I wanted to cover from a performance aspect. So this is some, um, I would say later on gameplay, but the prologue is extremely long. I don't actually think I'm out of the prologue, nearly 10 hours in, but I have been doing a lot of side quests. And I did also have to redo a flashpoint, but a bit more on that later. As you can see, it does look and perform fantastically. This does not have native controller support, so you will have to use a community mapping. And I'll show you the one that I'm using in just a minute. But I wanted to show off a bit of the gameplay with a lot of the skills as I'm a sorcerer here on the Sith side, which has also been fairly interesting being on the dark side. This does run directly from the Steam Deck with no major adjustments. However, setting up the account is an absolute pain. So do this on a computer beforehand or on your phone. And also it doesn't remember your password. So you need to enter that every startup. It's also worth noting the very first time it hung for me on this Legacy of the Sith loading screen. After around five minutes, it hadn't loaded. So I just quit out the game and restarted it. And it's been fine ever since. Graphics wise, I've played about with quite a lot of the settings and I've actually found that the high graphics quality preset on its own with vertical sync on, I did have to switch it to full screen mode to get vSync to work. But this was the most stable at keeping a 60 frames per second a lot of the time. It doesn't hold a perfect 60 all of the time, but anything higher than this really bounced around even down into the low 30s and 40s in these early sections. As I said, I had to use a community layout and I actually used this SWTOR Steam controller layout. And I did also edit this to take off the click on the right trackpad as for some reason all the time I'm scrolling it always triggers that which I don't want to do for the left click. So here's a little bit of Stronghold. There's so many aspects to this game. Stronghold is your own residence essentially where you can decorate as you wish. As you can see there are quite a lot of aspects in here. Performance not an issue here. Speeding around on transports either on the speeder or the main transports does dip down into the 40s a lot of the time. You don't notice the frames per second drop too much. Obviously, if you've got the overlay up, it's fairly obvious. And those graphic settings on that high preset do look absolutely stunning. So it's lovely to see the environment as you're going around. You do see the occasional jitter as you get the loading sections. Those high settings most of the time in the gameplay is absolutely fine. A lot of the cutscenes do dip in the initial sections, but again, most through the cutscenes 60 frames per second and a very stable frame time. It can be a little bit fiddly using the mouse to select the dialogue options. Using your finger isn't a lot better due to the small space for that radial. So I did find occasionally having to restart dialogue because I've hit the wrong one. But for the most part, it's still absolutely fine. Now I know people are going to be interested in the PvP aspects and so was I. So here is some of the Starfighter gameplay. I did find this the most difficult to control with the mouse and keyboard setup. So you probably want to have a separate mapping for when you're in the Starfighter mode. If you're going to spend some time here, it really was quite difficult to control on the Steam Deck. Not to mention that I'm not familiar with this mode and you can't fly it like you do in squadrons. It's quite a different setup. So I didn't do very well on this, but as you can see again, 60 frames per second with that high settings, not an issue here at all. Only issue was my aiming. So on to the other PvP aspects, the war zone. This performed the worst out of the PvP, as you can see dipping down into the 40s here. And with all the chaos going on, I'm not surprised. However, again, unless you're looking up at that frame counter, you're not going to notice it too much. And it still looks absolutely fine on those high settings. You're going to spend a lot of time in the war zone, then maybe drop those settings down to medium. But really, it wasn't a particular issue. It was just more of an issue when, as a sorcerer class, people got up close. Trying to move and cast spells was a bit more difficult. Overall though, it was absolutely fine and using the setup, having the radial menu for casting skills on the left trackpad was actually extremely intuitive. Sometimes I did overspin and cast the wrong spell, but other than that, I did find the radial a lot easier to use than the mouse clicking the buttons down below. As a lot of time when I was clicking with the mouse on the buttons on the taskbar in 
rapid fire mode you do tend to occasionally drag a skill off the bar or swap them over which can be a little bit frustrating in the heat of battle now i did say that i had to redo one of these flashpoints and this is the one in question as i was playing i didn't realize just how long these flashpoints were it took me around an hour to complete overall but after around halfway through i had to quit out and go and do some stuff in life and unfortunately flashpoints don't save your progress so when i came back expecting to pick up where i left off no i had to start the entire thing again so be warned if you start a flashpoint unless you finish it you are going to have to start again so back into some world gameplay here you can see that with hitting a outside boss here with tons of things going on we are dropping back down into those 40s but again unless you're watching that frame per second counter up in the top left you probably aren't going to notice a huge deal this was also an issue which was much more obvious in some of the bigger player hubs it did dip down into the 30s as you can see here in two of the big player hub sections it did dip down quite considerably but i can imagine this would be the case in pretty much any system so not enough to warrant dropping those settings down but enough to notice i'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here out in the world so you can get a better feel for the game and performance and let us know in the comments below if you have been playing star wars old republic in the past or whether you're going to be diving back in on the steam deck you can also follow us on twitter and join the conversations on discord using the link below thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> 